Welcome to Crime Funnel, where we look at all things true crime. From interrogations to warm body cam footage, from sentencing to true crime stories. The following is a police interrogation and confession of Lee Rodarte, the Bonefish Killer. 21-year-old Savannah Gold was a server at Bonefish Grill on San Jose in the Mandarin area of Jacksonville, Florida, where she worked with 32-year-old Lee Rodarte, who was a manager at the restaurant in which they both worked. Lee and Savannah had an on-again, off-again relationship, and in August of 2017, Savannah went missing. Savannah's car pulled into the parking lot of the Bonefish Grill at around 5.30 p.m. on the 2nd of August, but after parking, she never went inside. Instead, she got into the back passenger seat of Lee's car. Fifteen minutes later, Lee got out and slashed one of Gold's tires, after which he got back into the car with Savannah. A short while after what appeared to be a brief struggle inside Lee's vehicle, he got out, returned to Savannah's car, reached in the driver's side for something before returning to his car and driving off. Savannah never got out of his vehicle. When the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office found Savannah's car, one of her tires had been slashed, the door was unlocked, and her purse and other belongings were still inside. Savannah's family started receiving text messages from her phone, but her phrasing and spelling were uncharacteristic, and they suspected the messages weren't from her. One such message sent to her brother read, Hey, I quit. I'm leaving with my boyfriend. I can't do this crap anymore. I'm fine. Just want to get away. Lee told Savannah's family he was worried about her and helped pass out missing person flyers. Savannah was missing for three days before Lee admitted to investigators that he had killed her and disposed of her remains in a local pond, at which point the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office dive team was called in to search a body of water. When the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office found Savannah's remains, they couldn't determine the cause of death but stated that she had been burned over 75% of her body and her death was a violent one. Lee later filed a motion to dismiss the charges, claiming the death of Savannah was an accident and an act of self-defense, claiming she attacked him and in fear he grabbed her neck and heard a pop. Prosecutors argued against that, and the motion was dismissed. Savannah's father questioned his decision to move the family to Florida, stating, If Savannah had never had a chance to meet Lee Rodarte, would she still be alive? Why wasn't I striving to teach her self-defense? Why didn't I strive to teach her to use and carry a gun? As I watched the video of Savannah struggling for her life, Lee's car violently shaking back and forth, I saw her lion heart and glowing colors for the last time. Lee Rodarte was charged with second-degree murder, tampering with evidence, and abusing a dead body. In February of 2021, Rodarte and the prosecutor's office reached a plea agreement, and on March 11th, he was sentenced to 40 years on the second-degree murder charge, and the state dropped the rest. The interrogation fills in more information that I'd rather not give away here, but suffice it to say, as in most cases, this was a travesty and the loss of life was senseless. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll go, we'll go ahead and take his cuffs off. Yeah. I got an extra one, but I need. Oh, I have a small one. Yeah. No, I don't have it. I don't have a small one. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I have. Mm -hmm. I have it. Okay, I'll use this. That's fine. It's, it's my spare. Can you lean forward? There you go. It makes it better. It's hard to get to those, yeah. those holes in there. So I know that's not comfortable by any means. Come on. I got tired of buying new handcuffs too. I think I lost two in the last in the last two months. I said, you know what? No more. Yeah. They were handcuffs too. How'd you lose them? Letting them out to people. I'll give them right yeah. back. And then they weren't. And I'm just waiting till they come back into the system. Right. Come back around my way. I Me, mean, I'm the guy that always returns them. Right, right. Paul, should we put your hands on your head? I got to pat you down. Yes, sir. Work, okay. I'm proud. Spread your legs for me. Do you have anything in your pockets that. No, I think uh, they got it all. Okay. I have his hat and. Uh, some loose items in my trunk, I'll go get them. Okay, I just want to, just our policy. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Okay. Will you do me a favor? I'm going to have you take that apron off. Okay. Too, just to kind of get it right away.
I'll set it right out here. So. You can go ahead and have a seat for me real quick. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, sir. You need a water or anything? Uh, I'll take some water. water. Okay, yep, give me one second. Hey man. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. You remember me from the other day? Yes, Detective sir. Reeves? Okay. Um, this is my partner, Detective Staley. She was uh, interviewing some of the other folks, waiters and other staff people the other day, so she didn't get a chance to come in at the time. Um, I wanted to talk to you, or actually, we wanted to. You want some more water? Uh, please. Actually, yeah, would it be alright to use the restroom one more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Come on. You bet. I'll walk out there. Alright. Let me grab a. Uh, hold on one second. Let me grab some. No we'll, we'll go. Yeah, no worries. You want to. Neil. Yeah, we're good. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Come on. You want some water? Ah, uh, please. Because we'll be all right. Yeah. We'll get my you got some water? I said I want to kind of go over some stuff. I know we talked the other day just for a few minutes and I had some concerns about a couple things. And, um, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Anybody else want to talk? There we go. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Savannah. So I just had a couple of things that came up that I wanted to ask you about specifically that didn't didn't seem to line up. So I wanted to yes, come down and talk to you. Okay? Yeah. All right. I, uh um, so uh, let's get a, just a couple. Just make sure I've got your basic information. It's Lee, and ha tell me how you pronounce your last name. Rodarte. Rodarte. Okay, and that's R O D A R T E. Yeah. Right, and it's 1081 Halifax Road, yep. Jacksonville. What's the zip there? Uh, three two two one six. Three two two one six. Okay. Uh, date of birth is eight eleven of eighty eight. Yep. And five eleven. Yeah. Okay. And what's your uh, approximate weight? Um, I've spent a while since I weighed myself, but uh, probably about 163, something like that. 163? Okay. And what color eyes do you have? Brown. Brown. Hair is? Brown. Brown. Um, and what's your phone number? 904-452-5555. Okay. 
Four five two. Yes, sir. Six zero nine four. Six zero nine four. Okay. Just make sure I have that. And white male. How old are you? Um, twenty eight. Twenty eight. And can you read and write? Yes. What's the last school you went to? Um, Forest High School. Oh yeah. Before it was renamed. Yeah, yeah. When did you graduate from there? Oh six. Okay. Two thousand six. All right. And you can read and write. Have you had? Um, uh, have you drank any alcohol today? Any drugs today? Um, I took in Adderall that my buddy gave me. Okay. Because I was there so late last night. I yeah, yeah. And I was super tired. Like here, take this. Okay. Adderall. Yeah. And do you normally take that? No, nah, I was. Uh, I've taken one a long time ago. Like, okay. I wouldn't say high school. A little bit after high school, but it's been years. Okay. Yeah. Um, but nothing to drink alcohol wise. No. Okay. And how about what time do you think you took Adderall? Uh, it was probably. 12-ish. Like noon? Yeah. Okay. And do you understand what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Being able to communicate, yes, okay, enough, it didn't, you know, make no. it not be able to. Okay. Yeah. And no alcohol. And you said you can read and write? Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, when I ask you some questions, I want to go over your, your rights. We are currently at 501 East Bay Street, which is the police memorial building. Today is August the 5th, 2017, and it's approximately 7.15. Make sure I've got that. Yep. So we'll say seven fifteen p.m. give or take. Um, can you will you read that just that top line to me? Yeah, the following rights under the United States Constitution. Perfect. I'll read these with you, and you can just kind of follow. Um, you do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you, and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before any questioning if you, if you wish. If you do answer questions, you also have the right to stop answering those questions at any time and consult with your attorney or with a lawyer. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. You just sign there that you understand them. That isn't admitting or not saying anything. It's just saying you understand those rights. Okay. Perfect. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, Savannah, you said that you knew her and you guys had... Um, you knew her from work. I mean, just kind of fill me in with that. How long have you known her? Um, like I said, I've known her obviously since you worked, since you started working there. Mm -hmm. um, I would say probably about eight months ago yeah. or so, we started hanging out outside of work. Um, and at the time, I had a girlfriend. Um, but I kind of, you know, we kind of connected, me and Savannah. So we hung out a little bit here and there. Um, got pretty close. Uh, we come from, I guess, somewhat similar um, backgrounds. I guess you should say. Okay. Um, you know, she didn't have it the best come growing up. Neither did I. Uh, so we kind of connected, hung out for a little while. Uh, I'd probably say a period of two, three months. Okay. Um, and then. She started using uh, drugs okay. a lot. Okay. Now, I used them with her, uh, not the same drugs that she used all the time, okay. um, but I did them with her a couple times, and then she started to get heavy into them. And, oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, so I kind of just uh, tried to take a step back and, you know, put things off. Um, and after that, um, me and my ex started kind of chit-chatting again. Okay. Um, you know, and who's that? What's her name? Her name's Chelsea. Okay. All right. Um, so we kind of started chit-chatting again. Never really 100% because obviously, you know, she was still kind of upset about uh, me hanging out with Savannah and stuff okay. like that. Um, and then probably a month or so ago, mm -hmm. um, uh, I saw Savannah at work and she looked healthy again, you know, she gained a little bit of weight okay. and uh, just, you know, friendly talk at work, you know, telling her, you know, hope everything's been good and she told me, you know, that I guess she uh, did a lot of drugs and ended up in the hospital. She ended up missing like, uh, I want to say a couple of days, three or four days from work. Oh, okay. Um, so obviously, you know, me being pretty close to her, I was concerned and everything, but
But after she came back, you know, she looked good. And she ended up telling me that, I guess, uh, you know, over those four days, she detoxed pretty well. And she kind of caught a, you know, new sense into why she shouldn't do so much drugs so so much okay. yeah. um, and like I said she looked good you know she started looking healthy so uh, we kind of were talking you know here and there we hung out a couple times um, she came over to the house and you know we just kicked back drink a couple beers watch movies stuff like that okay. um, and then as we hung out uh, you know after a couple times she brought drugs over um, okay. and I told her I was like you know you're doing really good you can't you know you shouldn't be doing it again you're finally gaining weight because when we were together the first time she was you know she got really petite and okay. just didn't look well um, which is kind of why I took a step back plus uh, my father used a lot of drugs growing up and my mother used a lot of drugs growing up okay. and it was just kind of a hard thing to see you know every time that we hung out okay. like I said we did you know uh, we took like some pain pills here and there mm -hmm. on occasion, but then she started like bringing heroin over and stuff oh, like gotcha. that. And okay. that's, you know, uh, my mom was addicted to methamphetamines when she was, uh, when I was younger. So okay. the, those hard, like hard drugs just kind of scare me a little bit. So that's why I took a step back the first time. Okay. And then I, I felt like she was better, you know, as we hung out recently. Um, and she brought drugs over to my house the last time that we hung out. Okay. And, uh, we would text here and there. I would ask her how she's doing, you know, hope her day's going good. Just cause I told her when she left the last time that we hung out, I was like, you know, you're doing really well. Stop doing this. You know, you can yeah. do it. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and I heard that she just kept, you know, was doing the same thing. Okay. Um, so we text a couple times and I ended up telling her, I was like, Hey, you know, uh, for one, I'm dealing with a lot of personal stuff myself right now as it is, you know, I'm a little depressed. Um, but I think we're moving too fast. I think we should, you know, stop talking. Okay. Um, and she said, I understand it's completely fine. No problem. You know, uh, she said, I'll delete your number. I'll never text you again. Okay. And I said the same. I was like, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, try to jump back into things. I just, it, I think we moved too fast. Um, and I said I wouldn't text her either, just to, you know, kind of split yeah, mutual ways. Mutual. Right. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Okay. Um, and that was the last time that we text. Okay. When was that? Yeah. When was that? Uh, it was probably a couple, two or three weeks ago. Okay. Sometime in July. Right. Right. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things you said was that was the last time that you had contact with her yes. as far as, I don't want to put words in your mouth, so I mean, you, you correct me. That was the last time that I text her. Yeah, text or a phone call or a messenger yeah. or anything like that, two to three weeks ago. Yeah, okay. And um, and then the last time, when was the last time you saw her? This is what I was a bit, I didn't tell you the truth, when we talked at Bonefish. Okay. The last time I saw her was Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Um. I heard that she has been basically telling a lot of people at work that um, we hooked up a bunch, like a couple of days before that, yeah. and that she was going to like tell about the whole situation, and, you know, try to get me fired. And why like why that. would that get you fired? I, I, I well, don't, I don't I'm a manager and she's an employee, so okay, I mean, it's, so you guys a, aren't supposed to fret. Yeah. Answer. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And she just told. Um, uh, people, I guess that she was out with that work at the restaurant that we were having sex okay. and, you know, hooking up and stuff like that. And that I was her boyfriend and this and that. Um, so I was a little upset. Obviously, you know, I care about my job. Sure. Um, How long have you been there now? Uh, I'll be five years in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so I was a little upset. Um, so I met her in the parking lot, uh, at Bonefish. When is this? Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Well, that you know what time or about? Um, it was about 5.30. Okay. When you say you met her, did she, was she meeting you too? Or? Um, I didn't, yeah, how, I didn't, I didn't call her. Okay. Um, I just drove up there to see if maybe she was working. I was okay. going to, you know, talk to her. 
And um, did you as know I was, she was working that night? Um, I did. You did not. I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, you knew she was working that night. Yeah. Okay. So I drove up there and I was hoping to get a chance to talk to her. Okay. Um, I pulled in the parking lot. She pulled in um, a little bit after me. I parked uh, and I said, "Hey, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Um, and she said, "Yeah, what's up?" And I was like, "I heard you've been saying some things about me and you continuing to hang out, and you know that we're boyfriend and girlfriend." And she was, she asked me. She said, "Can I come sit in the car?" Because I just did some heroin and I'm a little paranoid. Okay. I said, "Why are you doing that? You know, you're doing really well. You shouldn't have been doing that." Okay. Um, and so she came inside the car. And I explained to her the situation. I told her that servers uh, at Bonefish were coming to me and telling me that you're telling people when you're out that we're still having sex and we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And I said, I would appreciate, you know, I need you to stop because for one, it's jeopardizing my job. We agreed to, you know, split, stop talking mutually and just move on mm -hmm. and, you know, be cordial or whatever. Um, but it was nothing more than that. And she said, I'm going to do what I want. Uh, you can believe what you want. I didn't tell anybody anything. And I told her, I said, the girl that you were out with told Chelsea that we were still having sex and that you were just at my house like yesterday and hanging out. And... The girl that she was out with when? That Savannah was out with uh, a couple nights prior. Okay, gotcha. Um, I guess uh, at one of the bars okay. in Mandarin. And who was that? Bonefish. The girl that yeah. she was with, yeah. uh, her name was Rachel. Rachel, okay. Yeah. And Rachel told Chelsea, Chelsea that Savannah was saying that, because uh, me and Chelsea talk, you know, we're very, you know, friendly at work, you know, we joke back and forth. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and... Savannah said, yeah, I did say that, you know, uh, I don't really like Chelsea, you know, and I said, well, look, you need to stop because okay. for one, we, like I said, we agreed to go our separate ways mm -hmm. um, and it's jeopardizing my job and it's making me really upset having to come into work, you know, or talk to Chelsea and she just com constantly, you know, badger me about stuff that you're saying that isn't true yeah, yeah um and i told her that she needs to stop um at that point i got out and i punctured the hole in the tire okay um and i said no stop like i'm serious i don't want to talk to you it's not good for us so let's stop and she just said, why'd you do that? You know, I said, well, I'm upset. You know, I apologized after I told her I would get her a new tire. And she said, fuck you. You know, you're a piece of shit. And I mm. said, uh, she said she's going to keep talking, you know, telling lies and stuff about me and everything like that. And I said, S don't do it again. Or next time it's going to be worse. It's going to be your windows. Okay. And... At that point, uh, she had her phone in her hand. She got out of the car and walked towards the main entrance from San Jose. So, like, if um, so, this is like, like, uh, like I know Bonefish is like over here. This is San Jose. This is the bank. It's over here in this area. Mm -hmm. um, where were you guys parked? She was parked here. Okay. Um. To the left of the Vice Star ATM. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I was parked here. Okay. Alright. So um, you're you're like here? Yeah, I was uh I was probably three spaces away. Okay, from her so. car? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um so and what do you drive? I drive a Chevy Malibu. Okay, what color is it? Silver. Silver Chevy Malibu. Yeah. Does it have Colorado tags, Florida, Florida tags, tags, Georgia tags. Okay, and um, 
Did you, when you got there, did you pull into the parking place? Did you park sideways? Did you park I backward? In. I backed in. Okay, you're backed in. Yeah. You backed into this parking place over by the bank area, um, by the Vistar uh, ATM. Yeah. And you're driving a silver Chevy Malibu with a floor attack. Okay, and then she's, she pulls in over on this side of you? Yeah. Okay, so like if you're in the car and you're sitting here, she would be on your left. So you're the I'm, driver's if side. If I'm sitting facing forward, yeah, she was on okay. the driver's side. Does she back in? Does she pull in? She pulls in. Okay, all right. So when she gets out, she's close enough to you, and that's when you motioned her over or called her over or said, hey, can I yeah, talk to you? Yeah, just said, hey, can I talk okay. to you? Were you by um, yourself? Yeah. Okay, no. nobody was in the car with you. No. Was anybody in the car with her? No. Okay, all right. What was she wearing? Uh, her uniform. Uniform? Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, then she comes over. She says, can I get in the car? If I say anything wrong, correct me. Okay. okay? I'm just going to I'm gonna repeat back, but if mm -hmm. I don't get something right, I need you to make sure I'm yeah. saying the right thing. Okay. Um, you say, hey, can I talk to you? She walks over, approaches on the driver's side. You in the car or out of the car then? In the car. Okay, you're sitting in the driver's yeah. seat? Okay. Um, and she, she asks, can she get in because she's just done... Heroin? Yeah. Okay. And then she, how does she do it? Does she shoot up, sm snort, smoke? Uh, she snorts it. Okay. And then she She's comes told me she shot up before, but yeah. uh, never in front of me. Okay. And then she comes and gets in the, in the car with you. Yeah. And you, is your car a two-door or a four-door? Four-door. Four-door. Does she get in the front seat or the back seat? She gets in the back. And I asked why she get, She got in the back. Okay. Um, she was like, I just don't want anybody to see me, you know. And where did you get into um, she said, you can come back here and we can talk. Okay. And so I got out and I got in the back seat. Okay, so you guys are both in the back yeah. seat now. Okay, got you. All right. All right, I, just, I wasn't sure. Um, and then how the, the conversation went, basically, you're telling her to leave you alone. Yeah. Stop harassing you or stop to, why are you telling people that we're having sex and you guys, um, you don't want to jeopardize your job along Yeah, I just line. told her, you know, Especially since she was high, I was like, you know, it's, you know, we just don't need to have anything to do with each other. Okay. And uh, she just, she said, fuck you, you know, I'm going to keep doing this or whatever. Okay. So I got out and. And, and what did you tire. use to, which tire did you puncture on her car? Driver's side, front. Front driver's side. Yeah. Okay. And what did you, what did you puncture it with? Um, I had a small kitchen knife that I used as a Phillips head screwdriver one okay. time. Uh, is that in your car or is that on your purse? Is like a part of your your. It's something that I had chef. in the car. Okay. Okay. It's not nothing I use at work. It was just one from the house that. Sure. Uh, okay. I need a Phillips head screwdriver one time when I was out there. Okay. Just left it in there. And it was in the car. Is yeah. that screwdriver you did it with? No, it was a uh, uh, yeah, like a small, paring knife. I guess. Uh, you can say. Paring knife. Yeah. Did it have a what color handle did it have? On? It was just all metal. Okay. An all metal paring knife. Yeah. Okay. And then w did you cut it? Puncture it? Something just, else. Stabbed it, yeah. like a puncture, yeah. it. and then you got back in, and then what did you say to her? Um, I said, now, can you leave me alone? I'm like, I'm serious. I don't want to talk to you. And she said, fuck you. Why'd you do that? And I said, and she continued to say that she's going to do whatever she wants, okay. you know, and she'll say what she wants, no matter what. And okay. I knew in my mind it was because she was high. Yeah. So what did you say? But I, I got Obviously, angry. you got to get pissed. Yeah, I got right? angry. I, I mean, I would too. Yeah, I got frustrated. Yeah. And I said, you know, well, next time it'll be worse. It'll be your windows. Okay. And then... Now, she, you, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, go ahead. You had, it, now, have you ever done anything like that before to her car? No. Okay. Um, we were told that that had happened before to her car. Have um, you heard that? I didn't heard that you had not her heard car that. had been vandalized before. No. You have? No. Okay, so you, you didn't know about that? No. Okay. Same same deal? Okay. All right. Um, okay, what were you, you were saying something about the, uh, after you got back, you, did you get back in the car? Yeah. Okay, and did you get in the front seat or the back seat? I got in the front seat. Okay, that time you got in the front yeah. seat, and where is she? She was in the back seat still. Okay. And at that point, I said, you know, now leave me alone. She said, she responded, I said, next time, it'll be your windows. Okay. And she said, fuck you, you know, I'll do what I want, and she got out, mm -hmm. and it looked like she was either texting or calling somebody okay. um, because as you started walking towards the there's an entrance to bone to the plaza okay yeah um, but it's closer towards 295 yeah. Yeah. yeah okay I wouldn't say she was walking along the edge of the plaza but she was walking maybe towards this way mm -hmm. and I would say an older model 
Ford pickup, mm -hmm. green. Okay. Uh, drove past me and around, and she got in. Okay. So, um, she had she while you guys were in the car together, you guys are talking back and forth. She's not on her. Is she calling somebody while you guys are? Talking back and forth on the phone. Um, I didn't. She didn't call anybody. No, okay. she had her phone in her hand. Yeah. Um, okay. but I didn't. I don't think she texts anybody. Okay. So she gets out of the car with you, um, and starts walking in this direction. I was in the car. You're you're in the car, but she yeah. got out. Yeah. Uh, and now you're in the front seat. Yes. So she gets out of the back seat and begins walking toward in the direction of not necessarily paralleling. Um, San Jose, but she's walking towards 295 or down towards that entrance area. Yeah. Um, and then she's got her phone, and you said you thought she was calling somebody. Um, she was. She had it in her hand and it looked like. I mean, I couldn't tell if she was texting or sure. not or anything. But she had her phone out. Yeah, she had her phone out and was looking at it, and then um, it looked like she was going to put it up to her ear, and then yeah. the green truck came around. Okay. And she how got long in. do you think? Um, it was between the time that she got out and started using her phone till that green truck pulled up? Um, maybe five minutes. Okay. So, wow. So, if she called somebody, they got there in five minutes to pick her up? Well, I mean, like I said, she, she, it looked like she was going to call somebody, and that's when the green truck came around okay. and she got in. Okay. So, she gets in the truck. What, what happened at that point? Um, they drove back around, kind of looped around a little bit. Which way did they drive? So, she was, say, like here. Mm -hmm. The green truck comes here, and then kind of just loops around. Mm -hmm. And it look, I guess they exited that way, and at that point, I left. They exited going which way? Down Santa? Um, towards what's Clare Lane. Lane? Yeah. I guess to leave the... Uh, so they come out on the back side center. of this um, bank? Like this way? Yeah. Towards Claire and San Jose? Yeah. And then you pull out, which way do you go? Um, I go around and then go out the same way. Same way? Yeah. Okay. And where do you go from there? From there, I go home. You just go straight home from so there? Tell me your route on the way home that you went. Uh, 295 all the way to Beach Boulevard, Beach Boulevard to Grove Park, and then Grove Park. How long does that usually take you? Depending on traffic, obviously. This trap, I think it usually takes me about 25 minutes or so. Okay. okay. What happened to your neck? That was self-inflicted, actually. Why? I just have been having kind of a hard time. Uh, to your neck? I couldn't. Yeah, I did. And What did you use? A knife. When did you do that? Um... Some time in July. You did that in July, and it's still yeah bloody. -ish. Well, it's I kind of peeled the scab here and there at work, hitting okay. it on stuff like that. I peeled it last night working, mm -hmm. um, and it was coming off a little bit today, so I peeled that a little okay. bit. All right, let me see. But this and this was the same night. This okay. one was just a lot worse. Yeah. Than this one was. Okay. Um, and that was in July. Yeah. Okay. Um, like a few weeks back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so who who did, could you see who the person in the truck was? Um, the truck had tinted, fairly tinted windows. Mm -hmm. I saw um, a baseball cap. Yeah. Okay. You see a guy, girl, light black. I couldn't really tell mm -hmm. if it was a guy or a girl. Okay. Um, I just remember seeing the truck drive and her get in. Yeah. Um, and now this time I'm sitting in front and the truck drives right past me. Yeah. And I saw a baseball cap through the passenger window. Okay. Um, but so it seemed like she knew the person. I mean, she got right in. Yeah. Had you had you ever um, seen the truck before? No. Never. Mm -mm. Have you seen it since then? No. Did Why she did say? Okay. Well, did she say anything to you when she got out of the car, other than you know? She was fuck just like, you. "Fuck you." Okay. You know, I'm gonna do what I want. And she doesn't say out. anything other than that. Okay. Lee, why didn't you mention this before since we've been looking for this girl? I mean, don't you think that information is I mean, it definitely, important? it definitely does. Um, and I regret, obviously, not saying anything before. Um, I mean, I talked to uh, Chelsea, and you know, she said, you know, you need to tell them what you know mm. and everything When did like you talk that. to Chelsea? You talked uh, to Chelsea about this? 
Yes. Okay, when did you talk to her? Um, the day that it happened. Okay. Because, I mean, her whole issue with me was me hanging out with Savannah. Sure. Prior. Yeah, yeah, and if Savannah's out of the picture, then you guys are can be free to have your relationship, be back together. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I mean, she, I mean, let Savannah's in the way, in essence, right? I mean, she, she's kind of creeped in. I mean, she sounds like she's an ass. I mean, she's that way to you. If she's out there telling people you guys are having sex, and if you're not, or if you are, um, then she's the one that's kind of pushing your buttons. She's pushing Chelsea's buttons. I mean, I just, buttons. I told Chelsea that I was going to tell her, you know, to leave me alone. You were at South Savannah? Yeah. When did you tell Chelsea that? Um, I believe it was Tuesday. Okay. Night. Maybe Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, and you, how how do you guys talk? Do y'all Facebook talk text? Uh, text message. Okay. And do you have a Facebook? No. Okay. You you don't have one at all. Um, I had one. Okay. I deactivated it. Maybe a month or two ago. Okay. Okay. It's still there, or you don't use it, or you actually I deactivated, deactivated the account. It. Okay. So it's not you don't even have one that's out there then. Okay. No. Okay. Um. I did have one when Savannah and I first started talking. That okay. was kind of how we talked. You wait for you guys to talk without Chelsea knowing what was going on. Yeah. I'm not telling Chelsea. Yeah. I'm just no, I mean, no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, when I come up and talk to you yesterday, I'm not threatening. I'm just I'm talking to everybody up there. What? Why? Well, I just you know I, I freaked out to be honest with you. I mean, the, this girl was missing. Yes. Okay. But you know she's been missing. I mean, you you knew from you know from in essence from day one that she is um that she's missing and you um you you freaked out that i mean you had i just to know i mean something. obviously you know i was the last one to see her so yeah. i was a little bit scared at that um and how do you know you're you you just said you weren't the last one to see her you just said a, somebody in a truck well i mean the last one to see her at bonefish okay that the last one she's heard from right i had contact with that anybody knows of sure um and you know, I thought that I had a warrant out already. Okay. What's um, the warrant for? Uh, I didn't go to a court date for a ticket. Okay. Okay. So obviously, but I, I didn't. I talked to you last night. Yeah. And I didn't have handcuffs. I didn't wasn't threatening in any way. Definitely not. And but I, I mean, and I, and I left. So I mean, what were you? You were worried. If you were worried you were going to get arrested, then that would have happened. Well, I mean, that's another reason that uh, you know, I Chelsea called me and I said, you know. I told him I didn't, you know, know anything. What do I do now? You know, I already. When did you talk already, to Chelsea about that? When did you when did you talk to her? Um, about that you talked. It had to have been after last night. So was yeah. it today? No, I didn't talk to her today. Okay, so I was up there talking to you last night, at like eleven o'clock. Yeah. So did you talk to her? No, I'm sorry. That? It was earlier in the day. I because obviously I told her what happened. Uh, the day that it happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and told her that I was going to tell Savannah to leave me alone. Okay. Uh, the day before. Mm -hmm. Um, and after I told her, you know, what happened about me, you know, puncturing the tire and her getting in the car with some guy. Yeah. Um, she, we talked a little bit just about, you know, how it's kind of crazy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I said, well, you know, she hasn't hung out with the best of people in her past okay um and she asked me if i knew who it was i said no uh just told her it was you know a green truck mm -hmm. um and then everything happened and you know her mom and the police came up there mm -hmm. and everything like that so we talked thursday night and she said hey you need to tell somebody okay and i was like I don't know what to do you know mm. I'm scared I you know I don't want to get in trouble for you know anything or have anything you know be a suspect or anything mm -hmm. like that which I mean obviously wasn't the right decision to make yeah, yeah. Uh, because now yeah I mean because we're gonna it, find it, it out, looks so. out yeah we could have gotten uh, three yeah. days ahead Obvious, of this. obviously now it looks so um, so you're saying that there's a, a green what kind of truck was it it was. It looked like a Ford, like a mid '90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a two door, maybe the ones with the little third door that you open from the side. Okay. Um, 
Well, the good thing about that is um, we should be able to verify all of that, all of those kind of things. That, that, that won't be a problem at all. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, so you said that you told her that you had talked to us, but I, I don't think that that could, chronologically, I don't think that could match no. up. No. Okay. We, we talked Thursday. Okay. And Not last night after no. we talked. Or we, this morning. We, we talked Thursday. Okay. After, like, uh, her mom and everything was on news. Yeah. Um, she called me and was like, hey, you know, everything's all over the news. Uh, you need to, you need to tell somebody, you know, she said, call the hotline or something like that. Did you call the hotline? Um, I told her I did just because I had, I wasn't, I was scared to call that night. So, but did you ever call the hotline? No. So this you haven't told anyone yet of this, other no, than Chelsea's Chelsea. the only person that okay. knows. Okay. Um, you, Just because I felt like I could, you know, I did you wanted to be talk, truthful. So after, how'd that conversation go with you and Chelsea? Um, she just she kept right. asking me, you know, it's like, what happened? Mm -hmm. You know, what happened? And I would tell her, and she said it's crazy. Um, and then she told me that, you know, I need to yeah. call somebody and let them know that I was talked to her Wednesday, okay. um, before the news that she went missing. Yeah. And I said I would. Okay. And I didn't. How'd that, con how'd, how'd the conversation end with you guys? She was, she told me, she basically said that she's not going to, you know, she doesn't want to associate with me because I talked to Savannah on Wednesday. But you, essentially you had the already told of, her you were going to do that. Yeah. Okay, so... Here. You see, the thing with... Me and Chelsea would argue all the time about yeah. me but not telling Savannah... To cut it off or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you go up and you meet... Chelsea knows that you're going to go meet Savannah Wednesday afternoon. Yes. She knows that. Yes. Um, afterwards, do you guys talk about how that conversation went? Yes. Okay. So you got, so she knows how the conversation ended. Yes. And you told her that night, Wednesday night, about the truck and about her yeah. and about you puncturing the tires. Um, is there, so you just called her and told her? No, we, you, we spoke first via text. Okay. Um, so you text her. From your phone, yes. that you slashed her tire or punctured yes. her tire or anything like that. So that's on your phone. Yes. Okay. So that text message is on your phone. No. Why not? Well, I mean, I took a picture of the tire first, mm -hmm. um, and sent it to her. Sent it to Chelsea. Chelsea okay. Yes. All right. Um, so that can verify that. Yeah. Okay. So where's that? That's on your phone now. No. Okay. Why is it on? Your I phone? deleted it. Once, you know, Thursday came around and the police came up and everything like that. And, you know, they said Savannah was missing because mm -hmm. I freaked out. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like, which is, sounds I mean, crazy. Which is, so you, I mean, obviously me sending a picture of one of the things that they pointed out on yeah. the news kind of scared me. Sure. So, absolutely. Um, so how, how, do you guys get together? or y'all talk anymore Wednesday night? How, do you have? Uh, does she do a follow up with you? How the conversation go? How how the rest of Wednesday go? Um, we she called me on my way home. Okay. Um, and you know asked where I was. And I told her I was like pulling in my neighborhood. Um, and then we just talked about the situation. She asked what I said to Savannah. Yeah. What Savannah said to me, and you know how I like, stabbed the tire and everything mm -hmm. like that. And she asked why, she, cause she was texting me while me and Savannah were talking okay. and I didn't reply because me, we were talking yeah. and you know, I was, we were going back and forth. So, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't text her back and I told her, you know, I'm not ignoring you. We were talking and then I said, after I punctured the tire, yeah. I wanted to leave. Okay. Because obviously, you know, get in trouble for stabbing somebody's tire. Sure, yeah. So I didn't want to get in trouble. 
Okay. Um, so she called me and asked me what I was doing. I said, I'm in my neighborhood, about to go home. Uh, went home. Uh, we text a little bit more here and there. She asked me what I was doing, told her I was eating. Uh, I sent a picture of her after I got a shower because she was like, oh, I haven't got any pics or this and that. So uh, as I was getting out the shower, I got the text message and I texted her a picture of me getting out the shower uh, because she said she didn't believe I was home okay. or something like that. Um, so I sent her a picture and other than that, I hung out at the house. Okay. By yourself? No, I have a roommate. What's okay. his name? Aaron. A A R O N. Okay. So Teacher. B I E G E R. P I E G E R. Yeah, he's um. P or B? B. B. Okay. Okay. He's what? Sorry. He's who I moved in with. Okay. So Wednesday night over at the house, it's you and Aaron. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Was yeah. Aaron there when you got home? No. What time did he get home? Uh. Eleven ish. Okay. A little bit after. But before that, you just hung out in this house by yourself and ate. Um, I ate some dinner, took a shower. Chelsea actually came over Wednesday night, okay. if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And what y'all do? Uh, just hung out, watched movies, drank a couple beers. Okay. Um. So where, where? When she's in the car, what is she, does she say to you about what her plans are? So she's scheduled to work that night. Mm -hmm. So she's going to work? She didn't talk about, uh, I mean, I assumed she was going to work. Mm -hmm. um, she was in her uniform. Um, but she didn't say, when she got out of the car, she didn't say anything mm -hmm. after she got out of the car. And she gets in that truck. She, let's be honest, let's, we won't even call her she. Savannah. Okay, um, Savannah, um, again, with this picture, if we're using it in the same place, they, you, from where your drawing was, they drove over here. You're here, and you, they drive out over here. Do they stop? Does she get out and go into work? Does, does the um, truck keep going? I didn't see once they turned the corner past the ATM. Mm -hmm. Once she got in and they left, I left you because left. I just... Did you run you know, into them on the road anywhere? No. Okay. Did she call you later on or text you later on? Savannah, no. Mm -hmm. No other contact with her? No. So where's Savannah right now? I don't know. Where would I find her? I don't know. That's my, my prime objective is to find her. Definitely. I think time's running out on her. And I think that... I mean, I... I've I should have said something to you yeah. guys when I talked. Oh, yeah, I yeah, should have said should've. something Wednesday think, or Thursday when it was brought in. So tell attention. me how I go from nice guy, I never met you. Um, you seem like a nice guy. I come up and talk to you uh, again out of, you You know, you agreed that there was nothing threatening or anything about our conversation. Just asking you for some, some basic, simple things where we talked for just a few minutes. And you um, didn't tell me this story. I'm not going to say the truth because um, I, th I think there's holes in this story too. Okay. Um, so you don't tell me this story. And then today we're talking again because I brought you down to talk to you because I found holes in, in that story that didn't match up. And now you're telling me another story that there's holes in this story that does not match up. So where where's Savannah? I don't know. Where? Well, why were you being hesitant about Chelsea being at your house? You first said that you uh, had, by yourself, you yes, ate alone. Yes. And then I Aaron, ate dinner alone. Yes. Right, but that wasn't. That's not true either, because you ordered Papa John's. Yeah, I. For you, I, Chelsea. I ate corn dogs earlier in the evening, and, and when Chelsea could, got there, she was hungry. Right, but you said so. You I clearly said, I, said yeah. you were alone. When I ate the corn dogs, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what I'm I saying. I remember specifically texting Chelsea, "I'm eating corn dogs." And all that's on your phone? No. Why so, would you delete all that? Just a conversation with you and Chelsea, you would delete about I'm having corn dogs? That text might be on there. Okay. But she, once we got to talking about, you know, me going up to Bonefish and everything like yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Chelsea said, you know, don't involve me. 
Does Chelsea you know, believe you? She, I don't know. Okay. Uh, um, just so you know, Chelsea thinks you're bullshit. Okay. Because we've talked, we've talked to a lot yeah. of people. So, and, and, and I mean, that's about the gist of, you know, Chelsea's attitude towards me for the most part for the past months. You know, okay. Ever since me and Savannah. Is that because first, you're a liar? I mean, to her, like in the I mean, past? That's pretty much what she labels me as, yeah. Do you, because do you I, lie? Not about, every, no. I mean, obviously I lied to her about okay. hanging out with Savannah and stuff And you like lied that. to me about Savannah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I mean, I, I just, I'm not trying to say anything else. No, I understand. Here's, I'm just laying out a, a facts here. I want, I want to find this girl. I, I need to find her. I understand. Um, and here's a couple reasons I need to find her. One is um, I'm hoping that, that she's still alive. Um, and, and that's really, I, I really do, I'm holding out for that. Um, and if she's not alive, then I think she and her family are, are, are due that knowledge. I think Pleasure. that's, uh, I think they need some closure. Um, because I think the reality is, is if somebody's, you know, dead somewhere, a, a parent would want to know. I, I think if you, do you have kids? No. Okay. So it, one day when you have kids, you, w the uncertainty is, is wh whatever kind of a person she is. And I'm not about to say what kind of a person she is. Um, because that, I, I'm not making any judgments. I'm saying that this human being is, if she's alive, then I, I want to find her. I, I need to make sure she's okay because it's several days now she hasn't been around. Some there, things happen to the human body, and people can't stand um, a, a lot of things that can transpire. But the other thing is, if she's not, this family deserves better than this. This family deserves better than somebody who works with her and who's got knowledge and won't tell the police because they're worried about their own ass. Because that's pretty. I, that's that's pretty cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I agree your your is. feelings in it, I don't I don't really care about your feelings. What I care about is finding her. So, where is she? I don't know where she is. Where is Savannah? I don't know. I need to know where Savannah is so I, I can don't let know her family where know. she is. You don't know because you had something done with her and you weren't involved in that part? No. I, I don't know. Tell me something. What can I work with? I told you the last time I saw her. But that's not true because we have proof. We have, we have proof. And that's why we're sitting here, Lee. At this point... We need this for her. I mean, I look at that little girl and I think of my little girl. My little girl who's her age. That's who I think about. That was my little girl. I couldn't imagine. I don't care what she said about you or whatever, but my little girl is that age. Uh, maybe, maybe. And you're some, not telling the truth. Maybe something gets out of hand in the car. I didn't do anything. Okay, you didn't uh, okay. do anything, but she okay. was in your car. She never got out of your car. She, she never got, got out of your car. Lee? We, we're not saying that you did anything. I'm trying to find her. I didn't say you I did anything. I don't know anything. where she is. Well, we can prove that you left with her in the car. So please, do 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 everybody do a favor and just tell us. Where, where is she? You, you got to be able to, to be able to separate. We're not sitting here saying you did anything to her. I, I don't know. She's on drugs. I, maybe she she passed. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not in that car with you guys. I know that she's in that car with you. I have proof of all of this. Okay, right. let me ask you, Lee. Then tell us now if you're if you're being an honest man. Are you being honest? Yes. Okay, well then let's start being honest. She never got out of your back seat, Lee. She never got out of your your back seat. Video cameras don't lie. Lee. How do you know? How do you how do you think I know this information, Lee? I wasn't there. But a video camera caught it. Tell me what happened. I don't know. What? How did? How? What happened to her? Was it an overdose? Is that what happened? I, I I don't know. I'm not in the car with you guys. You just said she was in your car and she had um, admittedly had done heroin. A body's overdose all the time. Is that what happens? Does she overdose? Okay. Well, tell us when you left with her in the car because that is what is shown. We can't make up that. We can't falsify a video camera, Lee. I'm not lying to you because you know I'm telling the truth because you know that's what's on the video. How else would I know that? I don't unless I have the video. Where did you go with her? I didn't go anywhere with you her. You did? No. You did. 
So the video camera's live. I don't know this. I mean. Well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not lying to you. I'm not making that up. That's why I'm so passionate about this. This is someone's child. You might not have kids, but damn it. Is she someone's kid? It's not fair to her mom with stage four cancer. Wants, all she wants to know is where her daughter is. But I have this man sitting over here, a 28-year-old man, that first says, you haven't seen her. You didn't see her that day. To now, the roles have reversed a little bit because we've been doing our background, okay? And now you're saying that she was sitting in your car, which all lines up with the video, actually. I'm glad that you said you got in the back seat with her. All that lines up. Walking over to her car, puncturing her tire, everything lines up. You come back to your car and going back to her car, everything lines up. But you know what doesn't line up? After that passenger door comes open and shuts, comes open and shuts, she never gets out of that car. And you drive off, she never gets out of that car. There is no green truck. And that's not right to her. We're fact finders, Lee. I don't have anything personal against you. No, no, not at all. I mean, it's... it's We're just fact finders. Just We're just happened. doing Where our is job. No, no, no. Where did you go with her? Where did you go with her, Lee? Be a human. You're a human. You're a man. Where did you go with her? I know you're not that cruel inside. Seriously. Where did you go with her? Maybe you, you maybe you don't know where she is now. Where did you go with her? Please. I'm begging you, Lee. Please. Please tell us. Please don't make us waste her any more of our time. Just tell us. Please tell us. Please. I'm begging you. I know you're not evil. Just tell us where she is. I'm begging you. Please. Please. Can you please just tell me? Can you two know? Is that what, how you wanted people to think? I know you're not an evil person. I don't see that in you. I don't see that in your history. I don't hear those things about you at work. Please tell us where you went with her. She never got out of your car. Please tell us, Lee, please. I'm begging you for her family. Please, please. She didn't get out of your car. And you know that, obviously. Please, please, Lee. I'm begging you human. I don't know. You too, Look, yes. I, I, Please, you know. Lee, just please, please don't make us do this any longer. Yeah, well, for, her, for, her, for her family. Can you just, just tell us where. Can you just tell us? Where, where did you go? Where did you go with her then? Can you at least tell us that? At least tell us that part. Where did you go with her afterwards? She didn't get out of your car and, and you know that obviously because yeah. I know we that. That's why we were here. Just tell us where. Where did you go with her? Tell us that. At least point us in that direction. I owe her family. We've been, no one's, uh, we're not saying anything that you intentionally did anything. Just tell us where you went. Please. Lee, it's not right. You're doing right. great. I mean, you, told, you, you already told us everything we already know. It's not right, Lee. This isn't right for her family or for anybody. No one should have to go through this. I'm just, I'm just human like you are. She's human, her family, everybody has feelings. Please, now's, now's the time to tell us because I don't think you're any kind of evil person. No. And I feel like you are gonna tell us the truth. I, I do believe that. I do believe you're gonna tell us the truth because I believe you do have a conscience. Now's the time. Please. 
That's all right. So just where would you guys go? I think you're a good man. I think you want to do the right thing. When y'all left out of there, you went down Clear Lane, you made a left from San Jose back to 295, and you get up on 295. Okay. Where else did you go before you went home? I mean, I know you eventually went home, but... I didn't go anywhere. I went straight home. Okay, so what did y'all do when you got home? Savannah was with you. She was with you. And that's okay at that point, but I need to know what, where, where does she go from there? Is she still at your house? No. Okay. Is she still in your car? No. Okay. Well, then, then where is she? I don't know where she is. Okay, then where did you last drop her off at? I didn't drop her off. Okay, well then tell me. What happened? Where'd you guys go? We went to my house. Okay. We did some jokes. Okay. Hung out for a little. And then she said she was going to catch an Uber home. Okay. And did she call an Uber? She pulled her phone out. Looked like she was using it. I wasn't hovering over her. I was pretty high. So, I mean, I wasn't. She told me she was leaving. She walked out the door. What was going on in the back seat? What was going on in the back seat? For the doors to be kicked open. She kicked open that door three times, Lee. She kicked it. We saw it. And you know, and you know I'm not making it up because I wouldn't know this because I wasn't there. I would never know this unless we had video of it, correct? Yes, correct. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just a fact finder. We're not going to lie to you. That door kicked over three times. Obviously something went on in that back seat. Talk, tell me about that. What happened in the back seat? Did she get mad at you? I mean, she was upset. Yeah. She tried to slap me. I slapped her. She went to get out. I grabbed her around her waist and said, where are you going? Why are you hitting me? And she tried to slap me again. And then, you know, I was still holding her. And she calmed down. And we left. We talked. And we left. Why would... Why would she be with you after that? Why, why would she want to say, thanks for slashing my tires, thanks for grabbing me, thanks for trying to slap me. Cool, yeah, I want to hang out with you tonight. I mean, we've gotten arguments plenty of times where she says she doesn't care what happens or anything like that. But let's be honest. No one's going to go with some man willingly after all that. No, one, no one's going to do it. Please tell me where Savannah is. No. You do know. You do know, Lee. And right now, is the time. You're so close and I know, I know you're going to tell me. I know you are because I just, I just know you are. Because I know you want to do the right thing, but you're scared to do the right thing. I, I get it. Yeah. I do. I'm not, I'm not. Can you just tell me what I'm being charged with, please? Yes. Yeah. I, I would, I want to I don't know yet, but at least I do know that you're, you have the KPS out for your arrest for the for the DWLS. Huh? For the what? The DWLS, I think, yeah. No. I. But where, where's Savannah? So what am I being charged with now? I. Driving while suspended license? 
I don't know yet. I gotta talk to the attorney that's sitting out there watching this interview. Where's Savannah? I don't know. You do know. So you're gonna make me and our team and this whole entire sheriff's office and every person in the community to get out there after, you know, we after they know the truth of who she left with and sees the struggle in the backseat of your car. And you're gonna make all of us go and search Jacksonville for her when you could just easily tell me where she is? Let, is that what we're gonna put think, everybody think, through? Think about this, all right? Sometimes people do wrong things, right? Some people, people make mistakes. It's what you do afterwards. I got a family that needs closure. They are now coming to the reality that she's no longer with us. I need closure for them. When stuff gets out that you guys left and all that together and all that kind of stuff, you want people to remember you as a guy who said, okay, look, I'm gonna do the right thing. Or do you want your family and everybody else to think that you're some evil, heartless person who won't tell us where she is. Why would you put your family and her family through all that? I don't think you're that kind of guy. I don't think you're evil. Something got out of hand. I get it. But what do you do after that? Here's what you do. You do the right thing now. Just tell us where she is. Closure for her family. Lee, we understand. Listen, we understand. We're not trying to hint you on anything, man. I'm telling you, I'm thinking about this girl and her family. And your family. She was... Sorry. Please tell me where to go find her. That's how people will remember you. We can work with that, man. We can work with that. What? You gotta do the right thing now. You can do this. You can do the right thing. She was hitting me. I just, she wouldn't stop, and I squeezed back. Okay. And she was just. Was she under your arm or something, or? She started hitting me. You know, after I, you know. So that's her tire. Right. And we went back and forth and I just squeezed her. You squeezed her around her neck or around her neck with your hands? She had it. She had She had her hands around mine. Okay. And you had yours around? hers and y'all were just fighting back with each other. Okay. She just wanted to let go and I didn't let go. Okay. Where is she now? Please tell us where she is. Is that the hardest part out? I, I, I understand yeah. that. And you got the hardest part out. out. Okay. I left. All I want to do is tell we I know. know. I know. You're doing good, buddy. It's on the west side. Of Club Du Clay. Cup Club Du Clay? Yeah. Okay. And Long Champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I got a map printed out of that, you think you could just show me that? Okay. It's on the west side from Club Du Clay and Long Champ? Okay. And how did you... You're, you're, you're great. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get this over with and let's find her. Let's let her pants. When no. did you when did you put her there? Did you go straight there? No. No. Okay. What happened? You you tell me. I'll I'll quit. After she stopped, and I didn't know what to do. Okay. I freaked out. Yeah. I didn't know. I have the faintest idea how. 
what goes, what's supposed to happen after that. So. I go home. And I don't know what to do, so. So Friday night. Okay. I get even more scared. Okay. Was she just put in the fire pit? Or did you burn her or what? Um I dug a hole. Okay. I put her there. Okay. And then I don't know why I thought it would help. Mm -hmm. You know, starting a bonfire. Okay. It did. Okay. You're, you're doing the right thing now, man. You are. So you moved her Friday? Moved her this morning. This morning? Okay. And the, now, was the, the the area that you dug out there, was that, did she get burned at all, or you just tried, or, or what? I tried. Okay. You tried to burn her? Okay. Was she wrapped in anything, or just her? No. Okay. Okay. Did she still have on her work clothes? No. Okay. You took the work clothes off of her? Where are the work clothes? I threw them away. Okay, where did you throw those away? I just, on the way this morning, I just tossed them out. Out the window? Do you remember about where you were? Um, no, I was just scared. Okay, I, I agree. I get it. Chelsea, okay. Chelsea knows. No. Okay. You know I never told Chelsea. You never told her. Okay. You never told her when she came over scared that she was scared. I didn't know what to do. Was she in, she was um, out back when that happened? Who? Um, Savannah was out back when right. Chelsea came up. Okay, yeah. So you put her there that, that night on Wednesday? Wednesday, out the back. okay. Did your roommate, your roommate or? He wasn't home. But he knows. No. He doesn't know. Um, and then today you dug her up okay and then did you put her in your car okay did you wrap her up or just okay what'd you wrap her in um we had like some plastic and a blanket okay and um, did anybody help you or did you see anything? Okay, just you at the house and where did you put her in the car in the trunk, in the trunk. okay and then you went tell me where you went to I, I don't believe you did. You didn't want to come over there, but I thought me telling her to leave me alone would make things right. Make things right, yeah. yeah. And that, um, didn't want to be that pond is Longchamp de Clay area. Um, okay. I'm going to see if somebody will bring in a, a map and we'll just make sure we get that. And I'll just you can just kind of show me and then when you get there about what time today was that you know about 6 30 about 6 30 tonight this morning oh this morning okay I apologize so about 6 30 this morning you go there um were there cars out did, anybody, did, did you pull her is it and I don't know the area is there um you pull around the back side or or you something down the front street which is Club to Clay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Club to Clay. Yeah. It's a residential and neighborhood. Take a right on to, I think that's Long Champ. Okay. And just straight down. Okay. Upon the dim street. Okay. And then just t walk me through that. What happened there? Um, I pulled in just area you can drive yeah like into the pond mm -hmm. into the 
trees and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Did, did you just put it there? Did you float? Did you put something on the map? What, what made you go there? How do you know that area? I've been fishing there. Okay. Long time okay. Ago. Okay. So yeah. it's off of you. You went off Collins Road, or no, you went I off. Got off of Blanding. Uh -oh. Okay, you went off of Blanding. Oh yeah, you went off of Blanding, and then you turned on. Yeah. Right under that area. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna I don't know my phone is cracked, but. There's one you turned on that road to get it down clunky clay and it's going to wrap on. That one or over here is this one? I didn't know nobody else was going to see. I was just know. freaking out. I just I didn't know what to do. Anybody? I know it's really tough. I just, you know, I told her to leave me alone. And then we slashed her tire and I got back in. And please, I'm serious now, leave me alone. Or next time I'm just gonna put your windows. And she just she started hitting me. And she didn't stop and she grabbed me. And I grabbed her back. And she wouldn't let go. I didn't let go. Did you throw her in the water? The <laughs> I don't want none of this. <laughs> Did you throw her in the water, Lee, or on the banks of the water? She's pretty close to the banks. Pretty secluded back there. Longchamp. Okay. Off of Blanding. So if I'm looking at Blanding onto Longchamp, is this the pond? No. No, it goes down that way. It goes this way? Yeah, it goes all the way down that Just way. Straight down the mm -hmm. uh, Club du Clay. Yeah, like so right here. See, it goes all the way down to that. So if you can show that to Dwayne, then he can get that because I want. I just want to get a signature on that one. Um, I'll get the right one. I got to like further down here. Okay, okay. You're doing good. So, I've never done it. Yeah. I didn't mean to. I, I, she I, wouldn't I let go of me. I believe it. I just wanted to tell her to stop talking about me. Yeah, you and Chelsea. And then, I just had to retire. Yeah. Then I got back in. I said, look, I'm serious now. Yeah. You After you serious. did retire. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. You see, I'm serious. Okay. And she said, fuck you. And she slapped me and grabbed me. Okay. And I tried to pull her arms off, but she wouldn't let go. So I grabbed her, and she wouldn't let go. Were you, I should have let go. Was she facing you, or were you behind her and she was facing out? How how was she positioned? I was behind the driver's seat and she was behind the passenger seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were in the back we seat together. Each other. Y'all were facing each other. And did you use like your arms or your hands or something else? She leaned over and like went around me. Okay. And just like squeezed. Okay. Around your chest or your neck or something? It was kind of like mid. Okay. She's just like, like that. Yeah. She's trying to, oh, like that. Like trying to. Like halfway up my chest. Yeah. Okay. And just like kind of along the back of my neck. Sure. Yeah. And uh, I tried to pull away and she wouldn't. Okay. So I took my hands and. Moved her moved. hands away? I moved. I tried to move her away. Okay. And I 
thought my hands were around her shoulders. Okay. My hands were around her neck. Okay. And I turned. And went, I went to push her down onto the seat. Okay. But my hands were on her neck. Okay. I thought I had her right here. You thought you had her up here? Yeah, I thought okay. I had her like, like right here. Yeah. And I ended up coming down. Okay. And I just heard a pop. Okay, you heard a pop sound? Okay. And she just... And you had both hands like this around, like around this part of her neck? Did, could you feel a pop? Yeah. Okay, where did you feel it? I just heard it, and then it felt like somewhere in here. Okay. And um, when you after you heard the pop, what um, what what happened at that point? Do you remember? She just stopped moving. She just stopped moving. Okay. It's, um, it's gonna be um, long chant down to clay. It's right here. It's covered with algae. Is that what you're talking about right there? Is that the one? Okay. Would you mind just? Just say pond and just today's date and your and your signature, please, sir. Um, sorry. Where's her phone at? I threw it out the window. Tell me where you threw it. I'm two ninety five. Like what about what area? In between Phillips and K Parkway, maybe. Okay. Was that the the Wednesday night after this happened? Okay, that's when you threw her phone out? Okay. She had her phone with her when she got in the car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what what did you get out of her car? When you went back over to her car? I know you, because you went twice. You know, you, you punch her it, you come back, you talk to her, this all happens. Within a short period of time, but then you go back over to her car and go in. What do you get out of her car? It was her makeup bag. Got her makeup bag out? Okay. Did you get anything else out? Okay. Well, why did you get her makeup bag? Well, I did. I was freaking out. And sure, I... sure. Okay. Do you remember what color it was? It was like red. Maybe. Okay. And where is that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're, you're, today's the uh, today's the fifth. Yeah. August the fifth. I and mean, then you can just sign it your your name. Okay. Um, and and this is the pond right here. Okay. All right. When you pulled into here, did you go in the back? Where, where, where exactly could you tell me? You can see here. You can see it from right, right here. Right, right here. Mm -hmm. you, you pull in here and come to the left. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little driveway, but I mean it's grass. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So no one's going to be able to see you because the closest house there's is like a house this one. Here. Sure. And there's a semi, there was a semi truck parked here. Semi truck here. And where do you put her in the pond? Because it's a big area, and I want to go find her. She's in the no, she's not. She's close to the Like here? Like in that area there? Yeah. Okay, so I'll put it like an X there, and you think that's kind of in the general area. Not that I'm holding you to that, but... Um, and what what's she going to... What would she be wrapped in? A blanket and plastic. A blanket and plastic? Okay. Okay. You're doing the right thing. I want to be able to tell her family. I'm so okay. sorry. Okay. Let me ask you, let me ask you one other thing. What was up with the text to her family? I just freaked out. Okay. I got, I got scared. Sure. And I thought maybe it's, she's had it, you know tendencies to do things like with her ex and stuff. Yeah, okay. Who, who'd you send the text to? Her dad. Okay. Anybody else? And her brother. Her dad and her brother you sent it to? Do you remember kind of what it said? It said that, you know, was running off with a boyfriend. Okay. Alright. Did you send that to anybody else? Okay. Just the dad and the boyfriend. Okay. Did you ever get on her Facebook Messenger? No. You didn't have her password for that or anything like that? Okay. Did you ever try to check her voicemails? No. no. Okay. And you, when you left from there, after you sent the text messages, you get back up onto 295, and you are heading down, and then somewhere you said maybe like Phillips. Phillips. You probably came up. It was okay. somewhere by the, no, the construction. By the construction area? If you're driving, do you throw it out your driver's side or the passenger side or something else? 
Okay, on my side. Your driver's side, okay. And Phillips, and where do you think? Phillips, somewhere between Phillips and Gate Parkway. And Gate Parkway, okay. On 95. Yeah. Okay. Um, and her clothes you threw out today when you were going, because you said her clothes, you had taken her clothes off of her when you tried to burn her. Um, and you threw those out the window as well. Was that like on the highway or a street or something else, or do you remember? It was on the highway sometime this morning. Not early this morning? On the way out. Okay. And what time do you think you went over there this morning? You said about 6, 6.30 this morning? Okay. Okay. Now, I, I, I appreciate you being honest. I appreciate you being honest. Okay? You know, you... Okay. She just wouldn't let go of me. And we went back and forth. And then I finally just... Swung around. Yeah. And you heard the pop in her neck. Yeah. And, and when you got back, you got out and you got the bag. You got back in the driver's side. She's, is she, where is she in the car at that point when you leave back there? Seat. She's just laying in the back seat. Okay. So do you think you broke her neck? I, she, I guess. Because you said you, when you were squeezing her, that's when you heard the pop. And then after that, she didn't move anymore? Okay. I'm assuming I'm not a doctor, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that would be okay. Is there anything, maybe I forgot to ask you, is there anything else you want to tell me? I didn't mean to. Okay. I'll come I wasn't there. going there to You weren't, to you weren't to going there to try her. to hurt her. No. Okay. Like I said, we hung out for a no. She yeah. was a good girl. She wouldn't let go of me. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, give me a few minutes. Um, to get some stuff together, and I'll, I'll talk. I'll convey what you've said to me. Okay. Um, you want some more water or anything? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank I, you for I being do want to. I do want to tell you. Thank you for being honest. I know. Give me a few minutes, okay? she starts grabbing you in the car. I know she slaps you. Does she do anything else? She slaps me. Okay. And she tries to slap me again. Okay. And I kind of grab her hand. Yes, sir. And I was the one who opened the door the first time. Okay. I pushed it open. I was going to try to push her out. Okay. And that's when she's grabbing me around the neck. And how did she grab you like this? She, she grabbed just you. She grabbed me here. Okay. Okay. She's grabbing you yeah. like this here. Okay. All right. That's what she does. So I try to push her. Okay, sure. And she won't let go of me. Okay. So she starts to hit me, like, on the side of my head and stuff like that. Okay. And so I've got her. Sorry. Yeah, you're, you're fine. I've got you're her, right. like, you're here. Not, yeah. And I'm trying to, okay. you know, okay. push her out of the car. Okay. And then she just keeps hitting me. Okay. And I just I swing her towards the back of the back seat. Okay, so if you're... You know, we're, we're both sitting in the car. You're here. This is the back seat, right? So you're sitting here, cause, and she's on this side, and you're doing that, and you're trying to push her out. And I then open the door. You open the door, okay? And then if you... I'll just do it like this. And then if you're, you're here, you, this is you, and this is her, you're grabbing... Well, here, just show me. So just, will you show me kind of what happened um, best you can? Don't... I, I mean, if, are, are you Okay do this for a second I just want to kind of get a feel of what where where her her head was if you're not you don't have to
too much. That's okay. That's all right. I don't want to push you to do anything you're uncomfortable doing. Um, let's we'll shift gears for a second then. Tell me at, at your house. You go. I know you go back home. You said after you guys left there. And did you did you go straight to the backyard with her, or did she stay in your car for a little bit, or you go straight to the backyard? Okay. You're under a time. You know your roommate is going to come home later on. And you have a shovel, or what did you use? Yes. Okay. And is there was there already a fire pit? Okay. So is it is it like bricks, or is it just a very just a little makeshift one with like garden bricks and stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put her in that. Okay, so it had already been dug out. Yes. Okay, you put her in that. Did you cover up with anything? There was some wood already in there. There was wood, and you just put the wood on her and tried to burn it? Okay, okay. And then she just stayed there until you moved her today. Right? Yeah. Okay, okay. And you, you don't have to show me. I just was curious, so I just want to, you know, match up when we find her with her neck injuries and stuff, that's it. And maybe that'll explain, you know, what happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to push you to do that. I appreciate you. You've done a lot by just kind of sharing where we can go find her. We're working on a, a team now that's going to be able to go do that, okay? And I'm conveying to the state attorney all the statements and everything that you've made, right? You sit back over there. You're okay. Just for a minute. I'm gonna go out there and finish talking to her. No, no, don't. I don't want you. To. You good? You did great. Okay. You did the right thing by sharing. All right. Hey. You did the right thing by sharing. Okay. Hey. Here, have a seat over here. You want some more water or anything? No. Okay. Right. Give me just a few minutes. I'm gonna go finish talking to her.
couple of quick again. Um, but I did not ask. They want me to ask her. Um, what is the, the the little paring knife that you use on the tire? Where is that? The garage of my house. Your house in the garage? Like where in the garage? It's in the knife center that came in. And the knife center that came in. It's sitting right there on top of a coffee table. On top of a coffee table. Okay. When you took her to the house the first time, did you go through the house or around the sides or something different? Through. Through the house. Okay, went through the house. Um, and what were you wearing that night? Do you remember? Jeans, gray, and blue shirt. Was it like a t-shirt or a polo or? It was just a t-shirt. Okay. And where are those clothes? You washed them. Was there anything on them? No. Okay. And where they're just where are they now? In the dryer, washing machine? They're in my room. In your room? Okay. Blue jeans and a gray T-shirt. Any like just logos dark or gray? Just blue sleeves. Dark gray T-shirt with blue sleeves. Okay. Um, her makeup bag. Where where is that? With her clothes. Okay. All right. Um. I think that was the only other thing she wanted me to ask you. I'm trying to finish up everything now. And just, you know, she she knows she's watching through everything. That you, did, you didn't mean to. Well, I'll tell you what, you did the right thing. I know. I, I, I get it. I appreciate you being honest and you telling us where, where she is. Each one girl hurt another girl. Well, I know. Just a couple, a couple more minutes, hopefully. I'm better. Do you have family here? Does your mom live here? <coughs> she lives in the clinic. Hold tight for us for a little bit, okay? I'll be back in.
Yes, sir. Uh, I just have a question. Yes, sir. Um, one, uh, am I going to be able to make a phone call at some time? Well, yes, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll take you over to the jail and you'll be able to make a phone call over there. Yes, sir. Okay. What's the other question? Uh, never mind. The other question is ridiculous. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if, if you need it, just knock again and I'll, we'll, we'll try to you get You guys don't feet. smoke in here, no? No, sir. Unfortunately, it's a no smoking building. So, okay.
Gold. Killed somebody. Oh. You get the weird stuff, good. Fucking mm. <sighs> okay. 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 
Everything going places, man. You fucking head. <sighs> Could have just told her, leave me alone. Okay, Haley, stay right here. I just want to thank you again for being truthful, okay? We have, just to let you know, we have, we locate her, okay? Um, we'll walk you over and then I'll, um, I'll I'm going to go talk with the family. Um, and you're right, you did have a, the, the one for the driving, but it's, it's just a local tape is. Um, so this, the deal from here is you'll um, be booked in tonight and then you'll uh, make the first appearance um, tomorrow, depending on what time you get in or how full they are. It'll be first thing in the morning or the afternoon. Probably the afternoon at this time is what I'm thinking. Um, and then at that point, you'll um, you know, get to see the judge and then you'll be assigned a, an attorney. Um, and, but tonight you should be able to make your piece about a phone call, okay? Um, did you need to ask him? You, yeah, I, I, one other thing I was gonna—I just didn't want to bug you a minute ago. I was out there yeah. talking with her. One of the one of the things I wanted to find. Oh, thank you. Is y'all argued in the car uh, initially first? Did was she starting to strangle you or put her hands on you in any way, or you and her before you got out and did that to her tire, or was that only after you got back in the car? It was after. After, okay. So none of that happened. Before it was just basically you telling her to leave you alone and she was Just going anymore. back and forth. Okay. Okay. The whole thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to clarify that for the state. Sure. All right. 